How's it going everyone? I'm so excited today guys. I can't believe I'm back here filming one of my favorite locations in the world. This is known as the Bandon Hachio Royal Hotel. It was a very luxurious hotel. Probably the most luxurious hotel on the island. This is one of my most popular videos. It has over 5.5 million views so I know you guys love it and I had to just come back here and film it for you guys again. Maybe we can see a little bit of differences over the past couple years. And I can already see some. Anyway. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Rowan. We go on epic adventures every single week. Been daily grinding this past year, so you wanna just keep up with that adventure. I, I love making these videos and documentaries so that you can entertain at least 10 to 15 minutes of your day and brighten it up. I also love exploring and taking photos in these abandoned locations. Don't forget, join the Discord server. That's where the Roman and family is at, and I'm on there updating and just talking to everyone, just, just having chill vibes. So I would love for you to join and come hang with us. Links will be down in the description. Click on it, it takes 20 seconds to join. Anyway, the history on this place goes like this. This hotel was opened in 1963. It was known to be the largest hotel in Japan and attracted the middle class. It's on one of the Izu Islands here in Japan known as Hachiojima. Now around the same time, this place was booming for tourism because the government put a lot of money on this island because not a lot of Japanese people were allowed to travel overseas and go on these nice tropical locations such as Thailand or Hawaii. So they wanted to make this a big destination for the Japanese people to come here for vacation. It's weird though, because around the same time, um, after 1964, I believe, Japan made it possible for the people to travel abroad. So, over the course of years, since this hotel was built, less and less people started coming on this island, which really hurt the sales of the hotels. And unfortunately, they weren't able to make enough money to maintain the property or pay its staff members. So they closed it down in 2006. It's just incredible how overgrown this hotel is. But still, I've been here before. The rooms are in pretty good condition, which amazes me. Still gotta be careful though. I remember last time I filmed the place for about maybe four to five hours. It's gonna be long, but enough talk. I'm excited, guys. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Let's get on with the adventure. I never explored this side. I feel like something used to be up there. I could have sworn it was a statue. Or maybe not. This looks like it could have been like a fountain. I'm gonna try to explore rooms that I've never been to. Hopefully we can find something new. I don't know where I just entered, but I've never explored this two years ago. Can't believe this gorgeous painting is just left rotting here. And there's a lot of TVs. So we've just made it to the main hall. It's absolutely incredible. They really did try to make this the best hotel in Japan at its time. I mean, look at it. You got marble everywhere. Even these pillars are made of marble. Now, the Japanese people love Western architecture, so they like to incorporate it inside their buildings. Speaking of which, this has lounge on it. I don't think I've ever been here. 
Bar Mykonos. I can't believe I missed this out. I'm also happy that I'm seeing something new. You'll be seeing this symbol a lot. That's the symbol of Hachiojima Island. There's some roses and some vines growing on that shelf. We'll probably be seeing a few things from the first video. There's that symbol again. But it looks like it was drawn with a marker. We got some books in this little cabinet. And right over here. This was the main entrance. This is how it looked like walking in. Looks so stunning. The stairway too. It's probably my most favorite stairway in the world. There used to be a painting right there of the hotel. Hopefully no one stole it. We're right here in the first floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven floors to explore. You can also see how the premises would look. Here's that little pool. Here's a bigger pool over here. That's the pond we saw. And over here is the entrance. No way, guys. There used to be so many things on this counter, and now they're all gone. Oh, there's still stuff in this room. A lot of junk. We have some keys, but I don't think they're the room keys. I think they're for something else. Hey, at least we have this guy still. Here's the uh, pamphlet of the hotel. That's the back gate right here. Now it's just overgrown. You can't, you can even hardly walk the path. I think that's the pool we have yet to see. And here are the restaurants. I've been to this one before. That's on the left corridor. Yeah, and then it just shows a bunch of activities that you can do here. Honestly, if you guys have been keeping up with the videos here on Hachiojima, it's been incredible. Like, I love this island so much. Highly recommend people to come here. Here's another photo of how it looked like too. When it was nighttime. That looks gorgeous. You can just imagine walking down this path. Some hotel rooms. They don't have the pictures of the private suites or the penthouse. They moved a lot of furniture around. I don't think this was stacked up before.
This room is really neat too. You can really see the Western influence in this one. Yeah, this door is still locked. Never able to get on this porch. see if there's been any really bad deterioration. Yeah. Or it just still looks the same. I think this is the one with the TV in it. Yep. This room is one of my favorite rooms in this abandoned hotel. The floors though are kind of really bad. It's crazy how just plants are growing now. To be honest, I don't really want to be exploring this floor. Been here before, I just want to check out that room to get the shot. Most of the rooms on the bottom floor were just your standard rooms. Studio size, tatami styled. Still pretty big though. So we're gonna make our way upstairs instead because that's where all the good rooms are. I've been here before, so I know where the good stuff is. That's where we get to see the amazing rooms. Let's start heading up. Yikes, that looks really bad. This side has really bad rooms. All right, we're making it to the third floor. This is neat. Third floor, the rooms get really big. It's like a family sized room. This room right next to it is even cleaner. It's not bad. It seems like on the left side were tatami rooms, while the right side had more modern rooms. I'm guessing this would look much bigger. Yeah, this interior is different. It's definitely bigger, and you had your own little private room here too. Yeah, we are on the fourth floor. The hallway now looks very different. These rooms are crazy. Wait until you see them. Who'd have thought RDD2 would be here? I want to check out the left side first because I don't think I ever did that before. Or maybe I did. Man, this gives me memories walking into this room. We do meet again. The final battle. It was fate all along. So, where's Cody? What did you do with him? Don't worry about him. Let's go! Oh! Yeah, these rooms just look like they were meant for maybe meetings. Or events. Or conferences. Now there's another building across from us. That had the big giant statue head. That was made of foam. We've just found this hidden gem inside this building. I'm so glad we came and did that. Because Cody went to Chernobyl and Josh went to Chernobyl and I went to Fukushima, we're just able to lift heavy objects now. Sucks, there used to be a Japanese drum right there. Here's something over there. It's just the one. This room has so many kitchen utensils, but they were mainly for sushi. And those are the sushi boats. The design on them. These must be worth a lot. It's really beautiful. It's like a little bowl. You would put miso soup on this. If 
you guys remember, there used to be more things in here. I don't know where they went. This could have been like a little banquet room. I think I remember there used to be like a marble statue right here. Fantasy so world we're in right now. Yeah, it's like a fantasy world in here. Oh, what? So sick. I don't know how they carried this out or moved it. Hopefully, it's in a safe place and not stolen. Now, these abandoned places, yes, they're abandoned, but they should be respected at all times because they're like a time capsule, you know? They're like, it's almost like walking into a museum. And I'm just not the type of person to steal things, but you know, it just I like keeping things the way they are and moving it kind of ruins it and stealing kind of ruins things for everyone else. So yeah, it just sucks. But here's a good thing. The organ is still here. <laughs> Leave this type of piano is called an E Shelby. Starting to see a pattern now. It seems like some rooms are tatami styled, very traditional and old school, but then some rooms like this are very modern. Look at the stage lights. I bet they had really big celebrities perform here back in the day. And all the chairs are just left in here. And the tables. Man, this used to be the largest hotel in Japan, but I can't imagine why they would think that this place would hold so many people throughout the years. Now it's time to head up to the penthouses. Check this room out. This is my favorite room. It's just so grand looking. The penthouse even had their own mini bar. Crazy. And it looks good as new. It does have that abandoned smell to it. But I'm super happy no one stole anything from this room. It still looks kind of how it was left. There's a part missing on that though. I can't believe there's just firewood right there. It's so beautiful. I love the carpet. It was funny. We were actually having problems looking for hotels and we were thinking of coming here and just camping it out. I mean, we got everything we need. Sofas, a beautiful room. Man, I've seen a lot of fireplaces inside abandoned mansions and chateaus. But this one is incredible. It's made of marble. I just love how it looks. Also, who else loves the carpet? Such a beautiful design on it. This looks like a peacock or a phoenix bird. Here's another beautiful painting. Now the way to get on this island are two ways. You either take a plane or a ferry, and I believe back then there was never an airport, so they would always have to take a boat or ferry here. And remember what I said, that this hotel has a mixture of modern rooms and traditional Japanese tatami rooms? There's one right next to it. This is awesome. It looks like a really nice bedroom. Same style of carpet. And the bathroom was in here. Look how stunning it is. Such an amazing room. I think there's one more here though that was pretty unique. I think this floor was the penthouse, so this room was also included with the other rooms, just on this one floor. 
It's a lot smaller. Doesn't look as beautiful. There's a lot of things. Like all the cushions and seats. We even have cups and little plates. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't show this off last time either. That's the first time finding stained glass. I forget where this leads. I don't know if it's... I think this leads to another room. I've never seen this weird room that looked like a dollhouse. Yep, this is the one. It smells funky in here. Yeah, this room was always mysterious to me. I don't know what they were trying to do. But if you take a look inside, it looks like a, a little girl's room. But it also reminds me of like a dollhouse. A giant dollhouse. That was just left unfinished. And upstairs here leads to like nothing. And there's a ladder you can climb. And I remember back then we tried getting up to there. I actually climbed it myself. And you're just not able to get to the little tippity dome area. Way too small. We can't really see, but regardless, we're inside the dome no matter what, so it's good enough for me. How do you really go inside here? Oh, it's so weird. Yeah, if we're all too fat, we are. We need to lose weight. <laughs> I'm back downstairs. I want to catch up with the gang. This side had the unzens, the restaurant, the karaoke room, and Close by right here was the gift shop area. So here are some pictures of the activities on the island that were taken. You can swim with the dolphins. That's awesome. Yeah, there's like pictures of the wildlife, like the flowers that are from this island. Here are some of the fishes. Now, a lot of the people here, they keep it very traditional. They live a very simple life. At one point, I bet everyone in this island worked in this hotel. It's just massive. And this seemed like it was a, a mini bar. There's no sign anywhere though, from the looks of it. It could have been like a sushi bar. Maybe they would serve yakitori here. Okay, we're getting close to the Unzens, aka Hot Springs. Uh, the red symbol is female and the blue is for male. Uh, there's an old vending machine here and someone moved it. It used to be right here. So right when you enter an onsen, it would look exactly like this. You have these shelves over here and these little baskets. You would put your clothes in there. You would get naked. Then you would walk over here, open the door. And inside was the onsen. There's the little hot tub. Before you enter it, you have to shower. They would provide you with shampoo, body wash, conditioner. You get yourself clean up. Honestly, onsens are my favorite things here in Japan and we'll probably be going to an onsen right after this. And you just step here and just have a nice relaxing time. And this one looks very, very fancy. You even have a sauna. I don't think I ever checked the female one. So we'll take a look at that. 
Same thing here. Get dressed, put your clothes right there. They look pretty identical. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, yeah, everyone would be naked with each other. That's just how undies are. I like them a lot, you know, they're nice and relaxing. I'm a little bit still uncomfortable with being around na other naked people, but whatever. And that's just how Western culture is. We're not really familiar with that type of stuff. But over here, it's like, it's very, very normal. Here's that Venus restaurant. It was also like a little daycare. There's a playpen right there where all the little kids would just play while the adults would hang out. Here's an example of what a karaoke room would look like. Be very nice and private, soundproof. And yeah, people would just have a good time, sing, drink. I've done it before. Uh, the first time I ever came to Japan three years ago, my friend and I, we went to a karaoke bar and it's such a great time. Let me know if you've been to one too. This one was really big. This one would be for like gatherings or maybe birthday parties. There are so many kid toys here. Bunch of stuffed animals and plushies. Right, everyone so we're now leaving uh, we have to catch our flight within three hours from now good thing though we pretty much explored everything to see and if you saw that picture of how the pathway looks used to look like in the backyard this is it overgrown you can hardly even walk through it like I said the adventures never own folks this is the last video of the Japan series and I had to do it with a bang I'm glad it was a success it's been such a great trip. Tomorrow I'm leaving for South Korea, and then I gotta be on set for something, and head to Cyprus. So it's gonna be a, a very busy couple weeks, but I'm hoping to drop all these videos soon. Wow, look at that view behind me though. Yeah, hotel is super massive. Anyway, gonna end the video now don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button bell leave your comments and thoughts down below and don't forget to share the vid it's been a pleasure guys this year we're grinding it out can't wait to start the South Korea series when I get to South Korea I'm also gonna be exploring I'm gonna start a South Korea series a full of explorations so yeah and after South Korea, I'm gonna stay in Southeast Asia for a bit, do some more explorations. Maybe go to Australia, I don't know. Mike, you gotta be in Australia? Sure will, man. Come on down. Okay. One last thing, don't forget to check out the Discord server. We keep on growing and growing, and I would love to chat with you guys live on there all the time, every single day. Keep in touch, just hang out and vibe out. But until next time, hope you guys live a life of freedom and water, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace. Yeah.